Hey guys, today I wanted to bring something a little different. I wanted to show everyone my version of GTA 5. With the help of multiple modders in the GTA community, I have been able to get GTA 5 to look a little bit re-enhanced and closer and closer to reality. Now most of you are probably wondering, is this a complete re-overhaul of GTA 5? No it isn't, at least not yet. I plan on updating this video into a series, kind of like video series or whatever, to bring out new updates and just bring GTA 5 closer to real life. So with that said, not everything is completely changed. There are still some advertisements that need to be changed, some little minor touches that need to be fixed, and all above that I don't have a graphics mod currently. The reason I don't have a graphics mod is because I'm waiting for a specific graphics mod to be released. So with that said, touching on some of the stuff that's been added to my Grand Theft Auto V, a complete re-overhaul of Rockford Hills. And honestly, if you've ever noticed, Rockford Hills has been very, very empty-like. It's, it's just been missing something. And now I know what it is. It's been missing trees. And you'd be surprised how much trees can make a difference to just the overall feel of the game. Now the mod that completely re-overhauls Rockford Hills doesn't touch every single portion of Rockford Hills. As you can see now we're going in Los Santos Customs. He added a single tree in there and that actually did kind of change the feel a little bit going in there. Now the guy didn't just add more trees around Rockford Hills, he touched on some other portions of Los Santos. For instance, I noticed that there was a couple of new trees in downtown Los Santos, and I noticed that there was some new trees in the Vinewood Hills area, near Fla Franklin's house to be precise. Some new props around Franklin's house, and just basically making GTA 5 feel a little bit more cluttered and more alive. And like I said, you'd be surprised how much it can change the way the game just feels and looks. Now with this mod, there is a tiny, very tiny performance impact. I probably lost about 1 FPS at most. And I do have a very powerful computer. So for those of you who have a low-end system, watch out. Because this mod is adding more to the game, it is adding more trees and more props, more stuff to load. So even though there is a slight performance impact, I do believe that this is one of the more important changes to GTA 5. Like I said, you'd be surprised how big of a change just adding more trees makes the game feel. Alright, so moving on to some of the smaller stuff. If you noticed, my license plates now say California, the police license plates say CA exempt. In my opinion, this is honestly a must. You can't say that you're in Los Angeles without having every single car you look at have a California license plate. You'd be surprised that, you know, it's not the biggest difference in the world. And you could probably live without it, but it's those small details that matter. As you can see right there, I also changed what the police station says. It now has the Los Angeles Police Department badge right on it. So smaller things do make a difference, and I know that sometimes it may not seem like it's a really big difference. But trust me, it makes a difference, and I plan on not skipping out on the smaller portions. So moving on to another modification to the game that I believe just changes the overall feel of the game and that is the roads. Now I believe this mod changes about 70 to 90 percent of all the roads in Los Santos to completely retextured new roads. Now it does make it feel a little bit more like you're actually in Los Angeles. However the yellow textured crosswalk in my honest opinion it should be changed to red. I'm not too entirely sure. I can't remember if these crosswalks are actually yellow or red in some parts of LA, but I do know for a fact that in downtown Los Angeles they are actually red. If you go ahead and look at the screen right now, I'm showing you an example of what I mean by this. This is a picture taken in downtown Los Angeles. 
Now even though the crosswalks are a different color than what they are in real life, that doesn't take away from the fact that it just completely changes how the game feels. It's like stepping into a new game almost. And that's how big of a difference it honestly makes in my opinion. Now even though the crosswalks are not realistic, that doesn't take away from the fact that almost everything else about this mod is in terms to reality in real life Los Angeles. Yesterday at the time that I'm making this video, I was actually driving on the same road that I'm currently on in game right now. And I have to say, it is very, very close to the actual thing. Now one thing I have to say is, it's not LA without good ol' in and out As you can see right here, this changes up and at them to in and out And in case those of you who don't know what in and out is, in and out is one of the most famous burger joints in the West Coast. Many people will tell you, you can't describe LA without describing in and out That's how popular in and out is in LA. So anyways guys, thank you for stopping by onto this video. I'm sorry if it wasn't exactly what you thought it was, um, considering the title does say Los Angeles mod. I'm pretty sure some of you were expecting it to, you know, just be one big download that overhauls the entire city. But that's just not the case, and I'm pretty sure no one else is actually working on something like this. Because that would be just way too much work. So... The, the point of this video is to try and get Los Santos to look like LA and by doing so in my opinion the only way we're going to be able to do that is by the support of other modders and other modders creations. So like I said it's not completely done there will be update videos to help just make the game feel more and more like reality. For instance, we still need a re-overhaul of the entire city. More trees, more props, and whatnot. Some other stuff that I could add, like an increase of traffic and pedestrian density. And honestly, that will definitely be featured into the next update because I feel like that is definitely a must. Some other stuff that needs to be changed. The Vinewood sign needs to be changed to Hollywood. And we do have a mod like that, but the problem is is that the LOD for that mod is not currently working. But anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys do consider any of these mods. And especially if you're trying to get, uh, you know, Los Santos to feel more like LA and more like reality. Other than that guys, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for any future updates that I do bring out to make the game just look more and more closer to Los Angeles and reality. And if you guys are considering any of these mods, go ahead and look in the description and I will place in order how I recommend you install these mods. And I, w I have to admit, it will take you guys a while to install some of these mods. The roads have to go in almost every single Time64 folder. Same thing with the graffiti and billboards pack. So other than that guys, thank you for stopping by onto the video, and stay tuned for the update videos that I will be releasing very soon to help make the game feel even more like reality and closer to Los Angeles. I hope all of you have a good day, and if there's a mod that I did miss, please comment down below or reply to me somehow to let me know that I did miss a very realistic mod to add to the game. So once again, thank you for watching, and I hope everyone has a good day. Peace.